Hello everyone, my name is Jamie Dobbins and I created this video to document my planning and teaching of a 5E integrated art lesson to teach my kindergarten student teaching placement class. To begin my 5E lesson, I first decided on a date to teach the lesson. I decided on St. Patrick's Day because I wanted to teach my students about the meaning behind St. Patrick's Day through this art lesson. I thought this was an excellent choice because it tied into the kindergarten social studies teaks for geography and customs and traditions. I planned the lesson and got all the required materials prior to the big day, which were beads of multiple colors, including greens and golds, yarn, and cups. To begin the lesson, I engaged the students through asking them about other special days, like birthdays and the 100th day of school. I let the students explore the concept for a few minutes through a think-pair-share. The students shared their stories with their partners and then with the whole class. Next, I told the students that today was another very special day, a holiday called St. Patrick's Day that we would learn about and celebrate all day long. To explain the concept of St. Patrick's Day, I played part of a short YouTube video called St. Patrick's Day for Kids by Tea Time with Taylor. After the short video ended, I asked the students, what were some of the special St. Patrick's Day colors and things that we used to celebrate St. Patrick's Day? Next, I told the students that we were going to make necklaces to help us celebrate St. Patrick's Day. I asked the students, if we are celebrating St. Patrick's Day, what color beads should we use to make our necklaces? I first modeled choosing the green and gold beads from a small cup of beads of all different colors. Then I modeled stringing the beads onto a piece of yarn that was about 18 inches long. Once I had 10 beads on my string, I modeled raising my hand for a teacher to come help me tie the necklace. Next I provided the students with their supplies. I set the timer for 15 minutes and allowed the students to work. Some students struggled to string the beads onto their yarn. So I covered the end of their yarn with scotch tape to make stringing the beads easier. A few students struggled to pick certain colors out of their cup. So I worked with them one-on-one -on -one to create a green and gold necklace. Once the 15 minutes passed, the students finished their necklaces and came back to the whole group rug. As a closure for the lesson, the students and I talked about what St. Patrick's Day is and how we celebrate it. To evaluate the students' understanding, I used observations in our conversations. I also looked at their necklaces to see which students use only the colors green and gold as a celebration of St. Patrick's Day. As an extension for this lesson, teachers can ask the students how celebrating St. Patrick's Day is similar to how we celebrate other holidays such as Easter and birthdays. Overall, this lesson went very well. A few students struggled to create their necklaces following the directions, but I am confident that the students learned the meaning behind St. Patrick's Day and how we celebrate the holiday. In the future, I will continue to integrate art into my lessons because doing so is a great way to engage students and get them actively involved in their learning.